In the name of Allah, the most compassionate, most merciful, Alif Lam Mim. This is the book. There is no doubt about it a guide for those mindful of Allah who believe in the unseen, establish prayer, and donate from what we have provided for them, and who believe in what has been revealed to you, O Prophet, and what was revealed before you, and have sure faith in the hereafter. It is they who are truly guided by their Lord, and it is they who will be successful. As for those who persist in disbelief, it is the same whether you warn them or not. They will never believe. Allah has sealed their hearts and their hearing, and their sight is covered. They will suffer a tremendous punishment. And there are some who say, We believe in Allah and the last day, yet they are not true believers. They seek to deceive Allah and the believers, yet they only deceive themselves, but they fail to perceive it. There is sickness in their hearts, and Allah only lets their sickness increase. They will suffer a painful punishment for their lies. When they are told, Do not spread corruption in the land, they reply, We are only peacemakers. Indeed, it is they who are the corruptors, but they fail to perceive it. And when they are told, Believe as others believe, they reply, Will we believe as the fools believe? Indeed, it is they who are fools, but they do not know. When they meet the believers, they say, We believe. But when alone with their evil associates, they say, We are definitely with you. We were only mocking. Allah will throw their mockery back at them, leaving them to continue wandering blindly in their defiance. They are the ones who trade guidance for misguidance. But this trade is profitless, and they are not rightly guided. Their example is that of someone who kindles a fire, but when it lights up all around them, Allah takes away their light, leaving them in complete darkness, unable to see. They are willfully deaf, dumb, and blind, so they will never return to the right path or those caught in a rainstorm from the sky, with darkness, thunder, and lightning. They press their fingers into their ears at the sound of every thunderclap for fear of death, and Allah encompasses the disbelievers by His might. It is as if the lightning were about to snatch away their sight. Whenever lightning strikes, they walk in its light, but when darkness covers them, they stand still. Had Allah willed, He could have taken away their hearing and sight. Surely Allah is most capable of everything. O oh, humanity, worship your Lord, who created you and those before you, so that you may become mindful of Him. He is the one who has made the earth a place of settlement for you, and the sky a canopy, and sends down rain from the sky, causing fruits to grow as a provision for you. So do not knowingly set up equals to Allah in worship. And if you are in doubt about what we have revealed to our servant, then produce a surah like it and call your helpers other than Allah if what you say is true. But if you are unable to do so, and you will never be able to do so, then fear the fire fueled with people and stones, which is prepared for the disbelievers. Give good news. O Prophet to those who believe, and do good that they will have gardens under which rivers flow. Whenever provided with fruit, they will say, This is what we were given before, for they will be served fruit that looks similar but tastes different. They will have pure spouses, and they will be there forever. Surely Allah does not shy away from using the parable of a mosquito or what is even smaller. As for the believers, they know that it is the truth from their Lord. And as for the disbelievers, they argue, what does Allah mean by such a parable? Through this test, He leaves many to stray and guides many. And He leaves none to stray 
except the rebellious. Those who violate Allah's covenant after it has been affirmed break whatever ties Allah has ordered to be maintained and spread corruption in the land. It is they who are the true losers. How can you deny Allah? You were lifeless and He gave you life. Then He will cause you to die and again bring you to life. And then to Him you will all be returned. He is the one who created everything in the earth for you. Then He turned towards the heaven, forming it into seven heavens, and He has perfect knowledge of all things. Remember when your Lord said to the angels, I am going to place a successive human authority on earth. They asked Allah, Will you place in it someone who will spread corruption there and shed blood while we glorify your praises and proclaim your holiness? Allah responded, I know what you do not know.